Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 5th. And it is a chilly December morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania, but beautiful nonetheless. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I am enjoying my uh, Christmas pipe, my Jack Kurtz uh, inspired Boswell, and uh, boy I'm loving this pipe. Jack, I hope you're enjoying yours as much as I'm enjoying mine. And I'm smoking some Haunted Bookshop. Got my Larry Blackett Frosty the Snowman Tamper here, which was a kind gift to my buddy Tamper Jay. Thank you, Jim. And, uh, yeah, just getting the morning off to a fine start. So, today is the day of the... Uh, the giveaway drawing and we're going to get to that without delay um, to say a few words before we we get into the meat of the drawing uh, this drawing was largely inspired by a kind gift from my friend Larry Blackett uh, the pewter tamper guy he sent me a couple of tampers um, the his Kris Kringle tamper which is a little sort of modern Santa Claus um, modern I, I i use that term very loosely but what i think we we tend to think of as santa claus the little round fat guy uh that i gave to jack kurtz when we first smoked our boswell calabashes and uh he's enjoying that tamper and larry also gave me this beautiful father christmas tamper and i thought and and, and larry said give it away and i thought well heck this is so beautiful it's it's worth having a, a giveaway over so this is a 1800s inspired Father Christmas. So this is the first item in the uh, in the giveaway. So inspired by Larry's generosity. I also, when I was visiting a couple weeks ago with my buddy Jack uh, to celebrate our pipes, Jack very kindly gave me a large amount of tobacco things that he had that he just knew he wasn't going to smoke, you know, things that he had acquired and, and all, you know, really good stuff. Uh, and he said, you know, smoke what you want, but feel free to share it and give it away. Uh, you know, Jack's got some issues with the computer and all that, so he's not, uh, not able to share as much as he would like to within the YTPC, so he's asked me to kind of be a, a conduit for that. And one of the items, and again, thinking Boswell here, one of the items that he uh, gave me was this uh, approximately two ounces of Boswell Northwoods. And this is two-year-old Boswell Northwoods. I'll be transferring this into a uh, baggie in order to send it out, but that's the tobacco that you'll be getting. I put it in the jar just to keep it from drying out. So the giveaway was... In was in parts inspired by Larry Blackett's generosity with the tamper and then Jack's generosity with the um, with the Northwoods. I thought well okay I gotta gotta add something myself to that and my initial thought was to get this right here this is a tin unopened tin of Cornell and Deal We Three Kings it's this year's Christmas blend and uh, I haven't tried it. I tried We Three Kings. They put it out a few years back, um, and it was it was a nice aromatic, uh, not my kind of smoke, but but very good. And uh, the lucky winner will be getting that as well. And then I thought, oh, what the heck? Why not really make this a giveaway? So I added to that. I, I got in touch with the pipe nook, and I got a. Very nice, Rossi 8311. This is a little poker. I've got the Savinelli version of this, which uh, I really love. It was a gift to my buddy Christian Bona Piper. And uh, so in part, this was inspired by generosity there as well. Uh, and by the way, this uh, when I bought this off of Eddie, he, he told me that I was actually the first person to buy anything off of his new website. So, if you haven't been to the Pipe Nook recently, the website's been revamped, he's got new payment methods, and he's got some really nice pipes and uh, great bargains. So, check out thepipenook.com. 
and this will be packaged up exactly the way or as close as I can get it to the way Eddie packaged it for me because if you have an order from the pipe nook unpacking the pipe is, is, is a big part of the experience. Eddie must spend hours packing each pipe. You, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you get it. All right, so those are the giveaway items. And the, the giveaway contest was very simple. Um, I asked folks to tell a story about a time when a friend was important in their life. And I left it open-ended. And I really enjoyed this because the responses I got were varied and uh, all very personal. And I think uh, made some beautiful videos. So I have a give, uh, um, what's it called? A playlist. There we go. I have a playlist where I put all of the available um, videos into it. And I say available because a couple of them were in a format where I couldn't add them to a playlist. Things like YouTube shorts or, um, you know, marked as safe for kids, that kind of stuff. But most of them are there. Uh, go and watch them. You just, when you have it, some, when you got an hour or so, pack a pipe, sit back and watch these. There's some great stories there. And One thing that I think really kind of rung true in them, at least for me, was that very often when a friend is being important in your life, the friend might not know it. You know, the friend might just be doing what the friend does. And, and we do that too. You know, we never know when we're going to be the person in that person's story. So. Just be a good person, do what you do, and uh, you impact other people. I, th I think that is really one of the big takeaways that I got from these videos. So go watch them, you'll enjoy it. Link to the playlist below. All right, so the entrance. We have, uh, let me pull this up so I can read it. We have a total of 14 entries, uh, which is fantastic. Great, great response, and I really appreciate the time that everyone took. Uh, not going to call out any of these in terms of the content. They were all fantastic. I highly recommend watching them all. And I'm just going to list them in the order in which they came in. And each one's going to have a number. And the number is what we're going to use for the random drawing. So number one is Cat Dad Piper. Uh, Cosmo did a very nice video. Number two, Armchair Piper, Ed. He, they all did a very nice video. I'm not going to say that anymore. <laughs> number two is Armchair Piper, Ed. Number three is Peter Piper NYC. Number four is Terry Snarfblatt Pipes. Number five is James Long. Number six, Northwest or NW Piper. Number seven, Clay S. Number eight, The Tunnel Take. Number nine, Cliff Higgins. And Cliff asked that if he wins that the, uh, the giveaway be sent to Glum Chum Piper. Number 10 is Kirk from Florida. Number 11 is Tobacco Pipes International. Number 12 is Joshua, and I'm going to have to spell this out. It's F-F-E-M-T-R-I-C-H. And if I remember right, Joshua said that was his first video. So appreciate that, Joshua. Uh, number 13, Gary Stoud. And number 14 is Texas Piper. And Texas Piper said, you know, I'm making the entry to support, but I don't want to be in the giveaway. So we really only have 13 people that are going to be in the drawing. Uh, Texas Piper is going to be uh, sitting up. So we need to do a random number from 1 to 13, and one of those folks will win based on that random number. So let's see if uh, Google is happy and ready to help us. Hey Google, what's today's date? It is Sunday, December 5th, 2021. Hopefully that came across okay in terms of the audio. Here we go. Okay Google, pick a random number from 1 to 13. 2. 2. And that means <laughs> the winner is Armchair Piper. Ed, congratulations. And, and that's great because Ed really does need another pipe. Uh, 
That is fantastic. Congratulations, Ed. Uh, well done. And, uh, you know, Google is Google. So, <laughs> all right, Ed, I'll be, uh, I'll be boxing those up and, uh, well, heck, let me know if you want me to mail it or, or if you don't mind waiting. I'm going to be on vacation in another week or so. I could I could bring it out to you. Uh, thank you, everyone, that, uh, that that joined in the giveaway. I, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think there, there, there was one guy who it was his first uh, video. Uh, there was another guy who I think had only made one or two videos. Uh, a couple of guys there that really deserve more uh subscriptions uh so please go and check out the playlist and uh, subscribe to these folks give them some support and and thank them for joining in in this uh in this wonderful uh wonderful time of year and this wonderful show of generosity from folks like larry blackett and, and jack kurtz so thank you all uh greatly appreciated all right well that was fun i like doing this I like doing the uh, the ones with like a trivia contest, but every time I do that, somebody gets upset because they were well. They don't get upset, but it comes up, you know. Like uh, I saw my answer come in before that person's answer, so I, that, that's not a good way to do it. And you know, I just didn't have time for two packages and comments, and you know, letting people to, to enter through comments. But we'll do something after the holidays that lets the folks that are not video makers get involved too, because you guys are the majority of the audience and I, I appreciate you. So we'll definitely do something for you guys in, in, uh, in the coming month or two. All right, so this haunted bookshop is really good and eight o'clock coffee. So this, I've been I've been trying to focus this pipe on haunted bookshop and Pegasus because when I'm breaking in a new pipe, I I like to use those two. And by the way, people often ask what's the best tobacco to break in a pipe, and you'll get answers. That, you know, that make sense. You know, there's some folks that say you should only smoke straight Virginias because they build a harder cake. Other folks will say Burleys because they're cleaner. Um, I don't know. I don't really agree with either of those. Uh, to me, I think the most important thing is to smoke something that you know that you're comfortable with and that you will be able to smoke all the way to the bottom of the bowl because that's important. And this old method you've probably heard of where you, you pack a third of a bowl and you smoke that and the next time you smoke two thirds of a bowl. And a, the point of that was just to make sure that you're smoking to the bottom of the bowl because you want to start building cake at the bottom as well as the top and I sometimes get old pipes where there's there's this you know very heavy cake at the top and once you break through there's nothing at the bottom and that's not good that that allows the bottom to get very hot and potentially burn out you need that layer of cake down there so smoke something that you are comfortable smoking that you know you're going to be get, able to get all the way to the bottom of the bowl I suggest being consistent with that for 10, maybe 20 bowls. I, I, I don't know. I don't count. I'm, I'm at a point with this one where I'm not yet comfortable. So I'm just going to keep on smoking what I'm smoking here. Uh, Haunted Bookshop, Pegasus. And we'll see where that goes. The other thing about breaking in pipes is that I really only like to do one at a time. And that's because there's nuances and getting to know the pipe. And if I start throwing in another new pipe, I'm just, it's dividing my attention. You know, so this pipe is in my rotation right now, my weekly rotation. Um, and I don't necessarily only smoke it on Sunday. But I'm smoking other pipes during the week. But those are pipes I know well. You know, those are pipes that I've been smoking for years. Um, I have another Boswell that my buddy Jack uh, kindly gave me when I visited him and I can't wait to smoke it but I want to give this at least another week before I feel like this is part of my rotation and then I'll be able to, to bring another new one in another week or two actually and that's just my approach so 
So, as I mentioned on uh, Thursday, I think, my wife and I were supposed to go to the Christmas tree lighting here in town. And, you know, I got to be honest, I wasn't looking forward to it, but you got to make your wife happy, right? She was looking forward to it. So on Friday night, I let everybody know that I might be late for the live stream because the Christmas tree lighting was from six to eight and I didn't know when they were gonna turn the thing on. And we had dinner early to make sure we had time to get there and all. And, and it's not very far away. We can walk to the center of town. And it was like quarter to six and I said, you know, let's let's get going, let's, let's get ready. And my wife said, Nah, I'm cold. I don't want to do it. I asked her a couple times just to make absolutely certain, and she just she just wasn't into it. You know, just she just didn't want to do it. So we said, okay, we're not going to do the Christmas tree lighting. But yesterday was the holiday parade, and that's fun. You know, kids marching and stuff. And said, okay, we're, and, and that's right down the corner. So I said, okay, we're definitely going to do that. And uh, well, she said we're definitely going to do that. And we forgot about it. it just, it, I didn't think about it until like five o'clock last night. I, I just, it just slipped my mind completely and she didn't think about it either. She told me when I pointed out that we missed it, she said, oh yeah, I thought I heard that earlier, but I just didn't, didn't want to do it. And you know, we're in a, we've got a lack of Christmas spirit here. That's what it really comes down to. And I'm trying, you know, I got Frosty out, did a holiday giveaway. But uh, yeah, for some reason this year, it's just hard to, to get in that holiday spirit for us, for both of us. I haven't actually talked to her about this, but it just seems like it's, it's, it's hard for her. And it's definitely hard for me. And I don't know, part of it is... Like, I haven't written out Christmas cards yet. That, that usually helps. I um, haven't really done any gift shopping yet. I have been, um, on the spiritual side, have been working through Advent. Um, the Pipetarian is doing a fantastic uh, Christmas Advent devotional. Every day there's a, there's a new one. And uh, it's just really good because he, he's, uh, if you don't know the Pipetarian, I'll, I'll put a link below. Uh, he is a, a pastor. I don't know what denomination, but Christian. And uh, he, you know, he, he starts off just talking about a pipe or talking about something that happened that day. And, and that brings him into um, talking about faith and, and reading a Bible verse. And it's just, it, it's a nice, easy devotional that... Uh, I'm having fun with it, and I'm really enjoying his company as we go through Advent. So that is certainly keeping me in the in the Christmas spirit from a, a, a religious point of view. You know, I'm, I'm awaiting the birth of, of Jesus. I'm awaiting the Emmanuel. Um, but the outer stuff, the, the holiday spirit stuff, you know, the stuff that is probably less important, but yet we look forward to all year just hasn't happened yet and I think it's because I've been so busy at work my normal routine this time of year is I don't, I don't take a lot of vacation during the year I take off the week of Thanksgiving and then I take off at least two weeks before Christmas and I look forward to that all year you know that's my downtime um, and it's fun because that's the time when you're, you know, you're getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner and, and then you're, you're doing your Christmas shopping and you, you know, it's all, it all comes together at those times. And as I mentioned, my, my Thanksgiving week just got blown out by work. And, uh, I think that's part of it. Uh, this week has been really busy this past week. This coming week is really bad. I'm hoping after this, we're going to fall off a cliff and relax and start to really enjoy uh, the holidays. I did take care of the leaves, at least in the outside yards. I've got a fenced in yard, which is where my dogs romp and play. 
And there's still leaves there, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Because I believe the last pickup is happening tomorrow. So any leaves that aren't out in the street tomorrow, I have to bag up. And uh, Part of me wants to just leave them and, and allow that. And I'm telling my wife it's a protective coat on the grass for the snow. Our backyard is a mess. It's, uh, you know, the dogs dig it up and stuff. We, we don't have a, a nice lawn back there. So uh, someday it also needs to be graded. So someday it's going to get completely graded and filled in with topsoil. And, and But not anytime soon. Today I have the luxury of not doing much of anything. I'm going to be working here in the shop for a while. Uh, I should check my work email, but I'm not going to, uh, just because I don't want to get pulled into working again. So we'll uh, we'll let things ride until tomorrow morning. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this bowl of haunted bookshop and my coffee and get this video up to you guys so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you enjoyed the, the giveaway thanks again to everybody that entered congratulations armchair piper ed um, I'll probably be back oh very important very very important this Friday I will not be doing a live stream because our buddy Jason Mouton is going to be doing his annual auction to support uh, St. Jude Christian's Hospital and this year he's also going to be splitting that with uh, Shriners Hospital for Children. Two extremely important and, and, and good charities that really deserve support. So folks I hope that I can count on you to actually show up for Jason's live stream. It's going to be on his channel. I'll put a link to his channel below. Um, that's Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central Time, which is Jason's time zone. It's got great pipes and pipe accessories and really fantastic things, all, all brand spanking new and beautiful. And uh, I don't think you're going to get a value. I hope you don't get a value because that means that the, the charities aren't getting what they deserve. But I hope you'll go there with open hearts and open wallets. And even if you can't bid, and you know, it's understandable that you can't bid. I think Jason is accepting donations. He'll he'll talk about that, or you can see some of his his uh, recent videos. Uh, but he'll he'll definitely be accepting donations, uh, m monetary donations, not items, during the uh, the live stream. So you know, even five dollars, even one dollar helps. And if you can't bid, if you, and if, even if you can't donate, just go and support. You know, just go and be there in the chat. And, you know, wow, that's a great item. Congratulations, whoever wins. Uh, you know, those kind of things are important, especially for Jason, because they show him that we're there for him. We're there, we're there for those charities. We're there for those children. So by all means, uh, show up this coming Friday, December 10th. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, Jason Mouton's channel. Link will be in the description. With that, folks, I am going to call this video to an end. Thank you so much for, uh, for taking the time to watch it. Again, thank you to everybody that participated in the auction. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Jack. Congratulations, Ed. You all have a fantastic Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.